Hey guys, Scott here. So in this video, we're going to learn how to back up your website through cPanel. Now it's very important that you back up your website because you never know what might happen. You could lose everything at any time for any reason, so it's always safe to just have a backup. That's not likely to happen, but you're better safe than sorry. So to back up your website with cPanel, just scroll down until you see the files section, which is just here. Now select backups. So from here, you can either select download or generate a full website backup. And you can also download your MySQL database backups. So this is another reason why it was good if in the MySQL video, I tell you to name your databases um, to resemble the application they're for. So here you know which one to download for what application. So if you had Joomla, you could download it for Joomla, the backup, the Joomla database, the WordPress, and then whatever you've named them. You can download your email forwarders, basically download the stuff you need here to back it up. But I'm just going to show you how to do a full, generate a full website backup. So you just select this here. Now you want your backup destination. You want to leave it on the home directory because this way it'll back up everything. But you can just select different stuff. But I, I just recommend leaving it on home directory. Don't worry about changing that. Um, now this email account here is the email account you'll be notified when the backup's complete because if you've got a lot of files to back up, it can take a little while. So put in the email there that you use and then when that's ready, click generate backup. So now it just says backup file, um, full backup in progress. Now if I click go back, I don't have much to back up so that should be done pretty quick and it is. So these are the backups available. And all you need to do now to download a backup is just click on one. So the one I just made is here. So I'm just going to click on that and it starts downloading straight away. I'm going to cancel that because I don't want to download that. But um, so that's how you download your backup and that's how you generate it. And that'll make a full backup of your website. And then you can go back to your home page or do a control panel from there. 